My friends, this is where the fun will begin. Inside this box is the most expensive graphics card I've ever bought in my life. I want to share this moment with you. Oh, look at the packaging. Look at the bubbles. Oh, baby, baby. Look. Radeon RX Vega 64. This is the Strix gaming graphics card, the ROG edition of this version. And the reason why I got this one, apparently it's quiet and it runs fast. Patented wing blade IP5X, whatever the f that means. RGB lighting. Whew, whew. Oh, it's open. This is my Valentine's Day present from my beautiful wife. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a serious mean box. Look at that Strix. Asus. It wants, it wants a bit of a bootylicious moment tonight. Let's check it out. You got speed setup, you got manuals, and you got a CD drive. Now this stuff is gonna be worth money in a couple of hundred years. Collector's item, just like the tape cassette. But next up, whew, there we have it. Oh my God, it's nicely sealed, nicely packaged. My friends, this is a heavy beast of a card. This is a serious beast mode kind of card. Look, it has a, a seal. It's not like the Radeon 7s, these ones. They get treated with respect. You open them up. Oh, baby, look at this. Oh, oh, love. This is what Valentine's Day is all about. Look at those beautiful fans. They spin, they spin so elegantly. Don't even make a sound when I spin them myself. The nice cool air. It looks so friggin' beautiful. Look how chunky that heat sink is. Look at the ports. Look at that, they covered up DVI, HDMI, I think. DVI. HDMI, a nice chrome-like silverish finish. So, oh, look at the wiring and the back. Baby, this is gorgeous. Oh, baby, there, there it is. That is the internals. Look at that gorgeous circuitry. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited, look. It's winking at you. It winks at you right there, it winks. It's a... Uh, RX Vega 64. Now I've been wanting one of these cards for two years and when they were first released in Australia this guy was worth $1,600 but thanks to the release of Radeon 7 I got this guy for $650. Cheap AF. So I'm excited. Look at that. You get unplug the ports. Oh look, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. And you get some uh, dual 6 pin to 8 pin port. I don't need this, but it's nice that it has it. And you also get, what's that? Cable ties, ROG cable ties. I love, I love the amount of thought they put into this packaging. It looks really beautiful, it looks really nice. All right, just to give you a quick comparison, this is how big the RX Vega 64 card is. Look at that, chunky AF. Now, let's see what a nice big card. This is the R9 390X. It is, uh, it's a lot smaller. So I'm gonna see if I can fit this guy into my eGPU because this guy is a monster. Beast mode is getting activated. Oh, there's also a sticker on this bit. So before it burns over, you gotta take that guy off. All right, my friends, I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Wish me luck. Look at that. Fans aren't even on. The lights are flashing, but the fans aren't even on. So there's nothing currently registered on macOS. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reset into Mojave and see what that happens. 
Look at that. RX Vega 64, it's up there. And what's crazy is RX Vega 64 is right there. You can see there's no fan spinning. It's powering the monitor. It's, it's actually working. Um, the only fan you can hear is this guy. So with a two meter cable, it's gonna be a very sexy GPU. So an activity monitor, when I'm scrubbing, it looks like it is using the RX Vega 64. All right, let's see this example. Uh, we've got two film grains applied. Everything's playing fine. I'm gonna to switch to better quality. Hit play. Everything's playing fine. I'm gonna double it up to four film grains. Everything's playing fine. So I'm gonna now make it eight film grains. Plays fine. You can hear the graphics card make a little zzz sound when we've got eight film grains. Now the Vega 16 that I've tested MacBook Pro that could only handle four. If I tried five, it would break. I'm running eight right now, it runs fine. I'm gonna switch up to nine. So the 555X can do two film grains by default, the Vega 16 can do four, and this fella can do nine. And if you look, it is very quiet. The fans have started to spin up, but look, it's already dropped down. It's stopped. So when you hit the graphics card hard, the fans spin, and then, look at that, it's going to stop. But like my friends, um, the noise of the fan, the fan, the noise that it's generating, it's insanely quiet compared to this guy. When I had this guy, it was just rattling. You could hear it. This guy, when the fans are rocking, it's very, very quiet. Just going to do some quick tests. I'm going to try to eject the eGPU. That's good. And now I'm gonna re-plug it back in. And see if it gets re-detected. Look at that. You can eject it and reconnect it without having to restart your system. You know what? I'm gonna have Final Cut Pro loaded. So the GPU is activated. And I'm gonna try to eject. I'm going to hit disconnect and it says I can't disconnect because Final Cut is running. I just want to see if it will still use the GPU in the internal display. So it couldn't handle doing 9. Let's switch to the external display. Struggling with 9. I'm going to now take the prefer eGPU option, see if that makes a difference. Prefer external GPU. So the internal display is working with four. Let's try eight. So once you tick prefer eGPU, it works also in the internal display. Getting somewhere. It's a quiet frigging GPU. It's a powerful frigging GPU. I think this is what I wanted. I'm, I'm very happy about this. Come with me, who shall I give the rose to the imagination? Will you marry me, Asus Rx Vega? Come with me and you'll see what a lovely, lovely life. The Bachelor. Will you be my GPU?